I think my favorite thing about dad is he's very tenacious. He would always take us to art museums. What little kid wants to go to an art museum? But it gave us all kind of a love for art, even at an early age. I think as he's gotten older, he's gotten a little bit more anxious. And if it's who's gonna show up, that's what he's gonna worry about. Dad's always said, whoever comes as a caregiver, they have to like art and they gotta like cats. <laughs> Ryan's been here longer than anybody else. Dad loves having someone consistent. Ryan has, you know, always been here on time. He definitely goes above and beyond. Here are your eggs, Byron. Well, thank you. One thing that really intrigued me about him is that he would always work with art. It intrigued me so much because instead of just doing one design on that paper, he was doing 10 designs as if it was like a collage. That really inspired me to go out and buy my own graph paper and my own pencils and see what I can do. I'm always amazed at the different designs that you come up with. With me, I had a stroke when I was seven weeks old. So I had a blood clot in my brain, which gave me autism, cerebral palsy, and epilepsy. So when I meet clients all the time, I tell them about how I'm going through the same thing with them. And by knowing each other, it helps create that bond. Ryan and I, we understand each other in the way we each think. He's got such a real good imagination. He's not hesitant to take the time to do a good job. You can tell that he treats dad like a member of his own family. Our age difference does not play a role in the type of care that I give him. He deserves a quality of life, and I'm happy that I get to show up and grant him that.